This is what he was trying to dump. He came from the marijuana grow. Independence Police Department right now is in pursuit of a homicide suspect uh, over on the border of where our two cities meet. We're trying to get in the area right now to meet up and help them out with the uh, with the pursuit. We're involved in this to make sure your You're good, you're good. I gotta wait for a little. We are secondary. I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling it. Uh, right now one of our officers is in pursuit of a, a vehicle pursuit of a homicide suspect. We're the secondary vehicle right now. Fifteen A, we're secondary, we'll call it. We're still eastbound on Truman. Uh, he's driving an oncoming lane. Speeds are about 40 miles an hour crossing Winchester right now. Deep breaths. Okay, he's pulling into the quick trip parking lot, Truman and Ewing. Uh, okay, he's going through, coming back to Ewing. He just hit a car, he's been involved at the pumps. But we still we got a pulse. We got a pulse. We got our suspect here. We got another party that was in the car with him. He tried to cut through the parking lot, couldn't control the car, and hit somebody that was pumping gas. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other injuries other than this right here and then his passenger. This is our second suspect here. Doesn't look like he's injured at the time. He is in custody. So we got both parties that were in the vehicle in custody. Yeah, that's Kenneth there. He was the one driving. This guy here was in the passenger seat with him. I just saw you blink. Open your eyes up. Hey, if you're hurt, you need to tell us that you're hurt. Don't sit there and, and play with us. Wake up. He's beating strong. <laughs> he's just playing. He's just playing possum with us. We'll play, we'll play the game. That's fine. Everybody who was looking for him and involved in the pursuit is here. So it's just a matter of determining who's going to take over from here on this party. Um, an officer is going to be accompanying him to the hospital and be staying with him until he's released. Once he's released, he's going to be taken to jail where the detectives will talk to him. Uh, and eventually, he'll probably be charged with a homicide. Ron, for her? I know three for sure that I've seen her, for sure. I can yes. find out for you. Three for three, sure. Is that including the suspect? Yes. OK. Fine. Right now, just from looking, you don't have to No. Kenneth, Kenneth hasn't said anything. He's fake. Fire thinks he's faking. They tried to pull his eyelid down, and he's forcefully holding his eyes closed. 
because they were warning us. They were like, hey, guys, he's not letting us open his eyes, so be ready when you take the cuffs off. We're all here, man. Now, this gentleman over here is the captain from Clay County that's heading the, the, the okay. thing. Okay, and this so. is the guy that we just had, I just had a bullet on, right? Yes. Yeah. I cannot. Sure, okay. Yeah, he actually has a warrant for his arrest right now for the homicide out of Randolph. Nobody got seriously hurt. The bad guy's going to go to jail. Do you have him on view or anything? Just got flagged down by a complainant at a convenience oh, yeah. store. He said somebody just took off with his car, and we're pulling up behind the vehicle that's matching the description now. Give me your hands! Give me your hands! Give me your other hand! Stop grabbing the cuffs, man. Good job, bro. Get up. <coughs> Go ahead, take a breather. <laughs> Told you to stop. It wasn't me who got it, though. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. Why are you running? Because I got it. I got it. Why can't I do it? Save it. Okay. Hey, I, what's going on? What happened? Back up with me. He stole two 18 packs no. up here. Seven, let him shut up. Yes, shut up. Let me put him in the car. Put him in my car. Oh, her car? You don't mind him? All right. What's going on, sir? What happened? I was over at 7 uh, Eleven. And uh, <clears throat> this girl was running out of there and said that a guy in a white t shirt took. 218 packs of beer. Okay. So I saw the police officer pull around over there to get the guy. Okay. I went over there to help him. He couldn't find him. So I went back over to the 7 Eleven because I was going to give me something to drink. As soon as, I came, as soon as I pulled in, the police officer pulled up over there to, to arrest him and he took off running. And he came right by me. Okay. So I took him. I took him down. I tried to take him down. Well, I saw you. I saw y'all running. That was a good job. So it was right up here at the convenience store, up here on the corner. Right up here at the store. Okay. And uh, so I told the guy, the other officer, that I was there to help him, whatever I can do. So oh, if you want, I can give you a ride on up there. That would back be nice. The store. There you go. I caught him once. And when I told him to stop and I grabbed his hand, he, he started to swing and. Oh, did he? Okay. So he did, did he have the property he with him he at that not, time? No, he didn't, but he oh, didn't okay. hit me. Well, that could change us from theft to a robbery, if this is the right guy. So what happened? I knew something was up because I seen several of the clerks out here walking this way through the parking lot. They're never out here. They're always manning the, yeah. manning the desk inside. And Hey, this guy, they pointed at this car over here, that front gold car you see the hood of, the front end. Oh, okay, out. yeah. I went over there. That car's been parked there for months. Yo, don't, that's what I was saying. And then hush. Be yes, quiet. Okay? Not you. Hush. Then I'm making a block trying to find him. This guy in the white truck, I don't know if he is a citizen. He's a witness. Yeah, he just, sent, just saw what he was going one, on. He's the one that actually caught him out yeah. there in the middle of the beach. Why did you swing at this man here? I didn't swing at him. I tried to dodge. I tried to grab your hand. You I, I yanked away, sir. Why don't you tell me what happened? I had got in the store. True enough, I was buying an 18 pack. Okay. But I picked up, I picked up another one. The guy in the getaway car, he put it in his car and burned off. So you paid for the beer that you took? No, I was going to pay for it, but then the guy said, come on, right? In the okay, white car. So, so you just picked it up I, and took off? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Where's your money? I it, it just left it all in the car. Oh, OK. Exactly. All right. So was this the same kind of beer here you were buying? Yeah. OK. But, but the other guy is the one who snatched the two, two cases of beer and, and took off. I had it in his car. What's his name? Uh, JJ. All right. Well, um, we're going to restrain this young man. OK, yeah. You, you know who this young man is? No. This is a young man that bailed out Officer Barnett's car driving down the road with handcuffs on. No, it isn't. He is not going to bail out of mine. No. Oh, my goodness. So you got a good history of running and escape from the police, don't you? Hey, you're under arrest for robbery for stealing your two cases of beer. You brought her down here to prostitute. You're her mother. Your job is to protect your daughter. Take me to the night, Mom. I'll let you be Holly, I can't.
can't help it. We're gonna pull over a car for a couple minor traffic violations. inside the car? Partner, come here. Hey, 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 hey! Put your hands up. Hey! Where are you going, man? Come here. What's wrong, sir? You put your doing? hands on the car! What did he do? Put, hey! Doing? Put your hands on the car! All right, I got it on the car! Go! I ain't fighting you, man. What did he do? I'm not fighting you, man. I'm not fighting you. Put your hands. I'm not fighting put, you. Turn around on your stomach. Right, hey, you. come here. You're going to get taste. Come here, or you're gonna get taste. Come here, you're gonna get taste. Five Yankee ticket. Can you start me a route to Walden's? Put your hands on the car. Oh my God! I ain't never did nothing, man. What y'all doing, man? Come on, man. Put me in pants, man. I'm not doing anything. Hit me. All right, there you go. Don't you move. I'm not moving, man. What do you do? What's wrong with these people, man? Come here, man. No, I'm all right. What you doing? Come, Come here. Put that hand up. Come here. Okay. Put that hand up. Where you want me to go? Stand up. Okay. And walk. Okay. Damn. What do we do? Hey. Sit down. Sit down. I'm old. Let me sit down. Sit down. And turn around. Give me your other hand. Don't move. Don't move. This is what he threw down when he walked in. When he was trying to get away from me. This is what the first guy threw down. There might be more. He threw this down trying to get away. I ain't trying to get away. And he threw this down. Nobody, man. Gotcha. Anything else? Do what down? Anything else? What's up, man? I told him not to walk away. I want to ask you this. Did he drop anything else besides that little bit of weed? That's all I have. Just that little bit of weed? Yeah. That's it? That's it, man. I ain't had nothing else. Nothing else? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else in the car? Shouldn't be in the car? I don't know. Do you snort a little powder or just weed? No, no just smoke. Just smoke. You yes, smoke sir. dirty occasionally? No, I just smoke. Just smoke? And so all the powder I found belongs I to your know. partner. I don't know if he had whatever he had, whatever. I'm asking you. I if you want to, not good enough. If you want to separate yourself from the powder that I, I just found, smoke weed, man. that's not good enough, man. I'm just saying, I smoke weed, man. Yeah. I, don't smoke, I don't do nothing else but weed. Okay. I'm telling you something good. Okay. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Let me, let me, listen. Go ahead, man. Listen to this. Talk to me. What's going to happen when I ask your partner who the powder belongs to, and he says, I don't yeah, know. Do what you got to do, baby. Yeah? And you want to catch that charge? I'm not doing it, man. I'm smoking weed, okay. man. i tell y'all that for the beginning, man. All right. When All right. I ain't with that dog. Have a seat. Have a seat right here. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Kick your feet out. Kick your feet out. This looks like about an eight ball of cocaine. We're just gonna test it, make sure that it is, in fact, cocaine. But the way it's packaged, I'm pretty sure it is. A little bit of powder inside the vial. It doesn't take much. And if it turns blue, it's a positive. There you have it. In the state of Florida, the amount of cocaine doesn't matter as far as felony misdemeanor goes. It's always going to be a felony. Just observed a uh, Hispanic male subject appeared to be relieving himself on the uh, side parking lot of a convenience store. We're going to swing back around there and check him out. Don't. Don't. 334, Adam. Correction, 334. I'm in a foot chase. 2600 block Boulevard East.
Let me see your hands! I met Nelson and Rule. I lost him in the backyard back here. Thirty-four, we're back on the street, running eastbound on rule. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Oh. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. They're up. They're up. They're up. They're up. There's four. I'm in front of probably 28. Oh. Roll. Hey, just get stay down. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! You think you hurt me? You think you hurt me? You don't! Fuck this bitch ass cup! Woo! I'm paying this vato. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. I'm sitting with you. He's bleeding somewhere. Get your hand down. He's bleeding somewhere. Oh. 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 This is buffalo, baby. Okay. Oh. You haven't been patted or nothing. Oh. Oh. Take a move. Take a move. Hey, boy. Hey, Vato, you lucky. You got the uniform off. Come over. Shut up. Oh. Oh. Hey, man. Hey, hold on, man. I'm tight. Hey, what are you, man? Hey, man, you ready? We're gonna sit in my car. Yeah, I'm ready. Have a seat. Oh. Put your foot in. Pull your foot in before I put it in. You mean strap? Yeah, you got Newton, how high up you want it? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold up, don't pack, bro. Strap. I'm gonna I'm coming. I'm going to jump the guard, bro. I'm not trying to run. I'm not trying to run. Get your foot in. I'm trying. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. No, no, there ain't no trying. Two, two, get your feet in. I'm gonna try to scoop back. Hey, scoop back, bro. Saw a guy up against the fence, urinating, pulled up behind him. I was able to get the vehicle stopped, opening the door when he turned, saw me, took off running, ran across the parking lot, over the boulevard, jumped over the fence, had some help from a citizen, able to take him in custody there, held him down until everybody else showed up so we could get him in jail. Blackmail fighting, right at the known of any weapon. All right, we're going to a fight call. Uh, there's some people fighting in the middle of the street, and uh, looks like there's a group over here. One of the guys got his shirt off, and looks like he's involved in the fight. So we're going to go uh, talk to him, see what's going on, and make sure everybody's OK. This is Lombardo and Spigo, right? Yeah, this is it. So I think they went southbound. That one kid has his shirt off. We'll go talk to them. Hey, hold up a second, man. Okay, don't walk away like that. Hold on. Hey, hey. But that's still not okay, me. Okay, no, no, no. You need no, to. No, that's, that's still not me, bro. Fight six five one foot pursuit northbound on us. We go from dozen and blackmail shorts. Laser deployed, not effective. Stop! You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Fight six five six five. We got it. Stop! Stop resisting! Hold on, your cord's stuck. Try me. Try me. Stop you gonna stop resisting? resisting? Are you gonna stop? I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I got, I got this one. 
hit me from here before. Roll him over on his stomach. He's me from here before. Let go, Hazer. Hazer. I'm not doing anything. Let go, I'm going to smack you. I'm not doing anything. Watch out, watch out. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah, oh, he's hiding me. Get him. Oh. Get him. Get your arm behind Get your back. Get your arm behind your back. Ah. Ah. You're hurting me. Put it behind your back. You're hurting me. Get his other arm. Get his other arm left. Ah. You're hurting me. I'm not doing anything. Stop, Stop, not doing Stop anything. resisting. Hey, watch Stop watch. resisting. Stop resisting. Are you high on something right now, man? Just let go, all right? Put your hands behind your back, relax. You're hurting me. You're not going to get hurt if you just relax, you all right? Hurt me. Relax. You already hurt me. Let's get, let's get there you go. Here. Just put your hands behind. There you go. Just relax, man. Uh, no, I'm not the guy. Seriously. Yeah, you are. What? Relax. I'm not relaxing. Relax. Relax. I'm relaxing. Uh, you relax. We can take care of our business. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. He's high on something. I know why he's high on that. All right, we got we got to initial inventory so we can get him up. Ready? Oh, yep. Shit, Pull your knees towards your chest. Oh, no. Pull your knees towards your chest. Somebody on scene that the killing's worth call. Pull your knees towards your chest. Tuck your knees towards your chest. Tuck your knees towards your chest. You can get up, dude. You got me in restraints. I haven't even grabbed my rights. Pull your knees towards your chest. Robert. Robert. You haven't even grabbed me my rights. Robert. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, too late. Anything you say I'm already doesn't matter. We're not asking questions. We're giving you directions. So pull your knees towards your chest. I'm already in restraints. Pull your knees towards your chest. I'm already in Pull your knees towards your chest. Otherwise, we're just going to pick you up. You're arresting me for telling me what I'm not. Sorry, Bob. Sir, you shouldn't be resisting arrest. I'm back. not resisting arrest. What am I being arrested for? Disorderly contact, escape, escape fail to bail off order a peace officer, or interfering with a peace officer is more commonly known. You're also under arrest for resisting arrest presently. You never read me my rights. Would you like to hear your rights now, sir? No, you're too late. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against your court of law. Too you have late. the right to an attorney. Have one present right here. I haven't did anything. You if don't you know nothing, man. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed for it you. It doesn't no matter. Cost. Do you understand these it rights? It doesn't sir? matter. No, you're too late. You, you put me in restraints and, and cuff me without reading me my rights. We don't have to read you your rights. Yes, you do. You, you got to well, read me my sir, rights. I'm sorry if you think that that's the way the law works. That I is. know how the law works. All right. It is our guy from earlier. He might have run because he's also wanted on an assault two deal and a fail to register as a sex offender. So that's probably why he took off. And it, it's him. I mean, he's got a pending assault two case on him that they need to interview with detectives for. He's got a warrant for his arrest. Uh, right now, we got a call into dispatch uh, regarding a stolen vehicle. Details of the call state that the individual was getting off work and his uh, vehicle was stolen. It was a red pickup truck, last seen headed eastbound on Bridger. And we're going to head over to Bridger and see if we can uh, cut it off at the pass and maybe try and locate this guy's uh, truck for him. Take a left, take a left, take a left. Go that way. There's a truck. It's heading that way. I have to go the wrong way. Same towards Charleston. It's just, I don't know if they were shooting at each other or what the heck they were doing. Red Chevy pickup truck. Hey, that might be our 411 that was just taken from this Bridger and Main. Okay, they just bailed. Uh, stand by. Eight Baker One's on it. Three uh, males running eastbound on Clark. Truck 401 at uh, Maryland. Copy. I'm going to call the perimeter here in just a second. These guys are chasing me. Get on the ground. Hell, step bro. back, step back. Step back. I'm, I'm not trying to do it. Ow. Relax, man, relax. Oh my god. How about uh, Bridger on 13th? Lewis hey, I need to talk to you guys. Hold on. Sit down right here. Control A Baker 1. Lewis and 14th. Sit down, man. Sit down. Sit down on the curb. Sit on the curb. Sit on the curb. What happened, man? Well, I went to the parking lot and gave my truck and go home. Is this the one that happened yeah. up at... Uh... And he followed that truck, and we followed him, and 
And he crashes my brother's truck. No, so. it's a 401 up over there by 7-Eleven. Uh, yeah, They're trying to kill me. Who was? Them two. Were you driving the truck? I was driving the truck. Why? But they crashed. Because they crashed into me. And then they were like, oh, pull over, pull over. And they wrecked into me. Okay, were they following you? What, was that your red truck you're driving? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, so then why, who, why, did you, why were you driving that truck if it's not yours? Just trying to get home. All right, stand up. Oh, my God. Why are you shaking, man? What? Why are you all shaking? Because I thought, what? Because you thought what? Oh, I thought you were going to keep running. No. I'm not going to run, man. I was only running because they were chasing me. Okay, well, since you don't want to talk no more, we're done. Yeah. I get out of work, and I walk into the parking lot where I got my truck parked. Oh, then, and I say, yeah, that's my truck right there. Okay. And then I run, run into the gate. In no way, I had to move because he, he's, you know, run me over. Uh -huh. And then my brother, I told, hey, follow that guy. And then I, I jumped with him, and we followed the guy. And then he crashed over there because he's coming in the wrong way. Uh -huh. And it crashed, and then he crashed. He, I, he tried to jump, and I jumped out of the truck. You guys started chasing him? Chasing, yes. And then that's when we came down the yeah, street? Yeah, when you came, guys okay. came out. Yeah, yes, right. in time. <laughs> oh, I can run no more. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you got your truck back. It's, oh, it's, auto, man. it's a little wreck, but... Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a shave key. Shaved. But it works. Hmm. Is that in the ignition? Yeah, it starts it out. Wow. So uh, which truck were you in when you were following him? Your brother's uh, yeah. truck right there? Yeah. And this guy that we have in the back of our car was driving this truck here? Yeah. And he was coming this way down the street? Yeah, he's coming this way. And in that truck, I think it's going that way. OK. I stop him. He's coming the wrong oh, way. Oh, so this one was going uh, north. Yeah, he's going north. And it's south that truck. And he tried to, you know, to go over there. And that one is go over there, too, at the same time. OK. And then and then we running right there. And he jump in. And he start running. I start running. Dude, I'm sorry about all this, but... You're sorry? About what? About all the stuff that just went on now? I wasn't trying to run from you guys. No, I, I know that, because you'd already crashed. You're going to be placed under arrest for Grand Larceny Auto, and you're going to be transported down to Clark County Detention Center where you'll be booked. Well, we just saw a guy driving real erratically, stopped in the middle of the street. Yep, he's taking off. I'm in pursuit. Uh, we're in pursuit of a truck that uh, we just saw dark out. It was driving really erratically. It's a red Nissan pickup, compact style. I don't have a plate on it. And he just stacked it up, 103 and Halsey. And he, he's... I'm just going to get out and chase him here in a second. Get your hand out. Get your hand out. Get your hand out. Roll on your stomach now. All right. Keep talking. Roll on your stomach. All right. Keep talking. Keep talking. I got talking. it. I got it. Hey, talk it again. Oh, get off. Okay, so I can't breathe. Okay, just please. chill out. Chill oh, out. Please. Just relax. I can't breathe. Just relax. I can't okay. Breathe. Just relax. Please. Okay. Okay. Please. All right. Lay on okay. your side. You want to sit up? Yeah, please. Sit up. Sit up. There you go. You all right? No. Uh. Uh. Nice deep breaths. We got a man. We got an ambulance coming. Okay. If we take you out of handcuffs, you're gonna get squirrely on us. No. You're not gonna run around, right? You're not no. gonna run on us, are you? No. You're scared me enough. Looks like you just ripped a marijuana grow. Oh really? Yeah. I bet the truck's all full of. Yep. It's got big plastic bags full of like plants and. And gross. he dropped a bag on Stark too. Hey Thomas, why'd you take off on us, man? I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know. What, what are you scared of? I'm not going to prison again. What would you be scared of? I'm not your next con. Your next con? I've been clean for 12 years. 
Okay, what's in the back of the truck there? Dirt that I was supposed to get in there. Jump, throw it away. Is there any marijuana in the back of that truck? No, not that I know. I just got the bags and throw the, the, the bags in there. Where'd you get the bags from? Down the street. Down the street. So this is the truck we were chasing. Ran right into this sign right here. I'm going to open this bag up and see. It feels like there's a lot of stems marijuana from marijuana plants in here that have been harvested, which it is. This is what he was trying to dump. He came from a marijuana grow. They harvested all the plants, it looks like, or whatever plants were ready. And then they were just trying to find a place to dump stems and all the rest of garbage. And so that's what all this is, you can tell. And that's probably the reason why he ran, because he knew he had all this stuff left over in the truck. All right, Thomas, tell me where you're coming from, because you got a whole, listen to me, you got a whole bunch of marijuana grow stuff in the back of that truck. All right, you got four fertilizer bins in the back. I mean, fertilizer bins this big, man. And you got all the old stems and, and stuff that nobody wants in huge bags. You're coming back from. I tried to make it so much money to take this. Where where'd you get the stuff at? Where'd you pick it up at? I'm just trying to make I'm 16 years old trying to make ends But you knew there was marijuana stuff in the back of that truck. That's why you ran. I think there's vegetables or No, but there, there's a reason why you took off on me in the truck. You got the bottles in there that you knew was for a grow up. I knew it was for plants. Yeah, you know, it's for plants. That's you, all I knew. Listen, let's stop beating around the marijuana yeah, bush right, and be honest here. How much did you get paid to get rid of that garbage? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah. All right, Thomas. Maybe we'll talk a little bit later when we get back to the hospital, OK? Yes, sir. All right, you guys good? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Thanks for waiting. So they're paying him 50 bucks to get rid of all the what's left of the evidence to grow off. Yeah. So he's well past his prime in terms of trying to get away from the police. Uh, this fan right here uh, ran a red light. Uh, it doesn't have a plate on it. So we're going to stop and see what's going on with it. Uh oh, he's trying to get rid of something. Stop your vehicle. Go ahead and get us another unit. Not let him get out of here. Stop your vehicle now. He's gonna get popped. Eastbound Flamingo Paradise. We're gonna be southbound Paradise. TP85, did you try to pull over? That's a firm. We're still southbound on Paradise. Uh, we're going 45, light traffic. Stop your vehicle. Uh, we're pulling into uh, Harbor Island. We're pulling into Harbor Island, 370 Harmon. It's a dead end back here, so he's gonna go straight in. Dude, where is he going to try to go? Metro police! He's still in Metro the car. police! Hey, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! I'm done. I'm done. All right, I'm done. I'm done. What's going on, man? What's your deal, bro? Are you I, serious? I just got a license, man. Huh? Huh? I got no license. You got no license? Yeah. So you want us to run? Chase you all the way over here? Get out and run for no license? So we write you a ticket and we kick you? Now you're going for a felony. What did you do to your van, man? What are you trying to run no, from, no, no. man? Huh? What, what we just got carried away. I don't know. I should just pull over. 
you wind up a legal U-turn back there at the light. Right, is that your car? <laughs> yeah, it's my car. It's your car now? Look yeah. at it. It's all messed up. I know. For what? A ticket? Yeah. Do you got warrants? Hit the ID. Yeah. Driving on suspended. You got warrants for driving on suspended? He doesn't have an ID. So you got warrants and you don't have a license. You high? You use drugs? No. Never? No. I have, but not. The vehicle's got no license plate. Maybe it's uh, possibly stolen. The ignition's punched. Uh, look, obviously, he doesn't care about it. You can tell by the damage to the front end here, the tires. Looks like we have some stolen property here in the front seat, some electronic equipment, maybe burglary tools. I also spoke with security. They said that they've seen him casing in the area before. Uh, he may have been breaking into residence, so doing burglaries, home invasions, stuff of that nature. We All we have is a, a simple minor uh, traffic violation, and uh, you know now we have a few felonies. So you just bought this car from a guy? All right, what's his name? Doug. Doug? Yes. When did you buy the car from Doug? I had it for about a week or so. About a week? Yeah. Does it have a key? It had a key, right? I so how do you start it now? It doesn't have a key. Screwdriver. Screwdriver? Does that seem normal for a car you just bought? No, it don't. And I've been arrested before, and I just didn't want to, you know, go through the hassle. Go through the hassle of what? Having to go to jail. For what, though? It's your car. You bought it. Yeah, but still, I don't have no well, paperwork what, right now. Well, what were you thinking? I don't know. What were you what thinking when you get in the car and you got to get out your Phillips screwdriver Control, and start the car? Isn't that like a red flag? Yeah. What's this? It's not even mine, man. You're not even going to believe me, so don't even It's mess. not yours? I just pulled out of your pocket, man. Did. I had a care. I, I know what comes out of my pants. It looks to me like black tar heroin. We're going to have you sit here until we figure out what's going on with that vehicle. Okay. Thank you. Try to contact Doug. All right. Just hang tight, all right? My partner's checking the car in there. We found this on your right where you were sitting. You know what this is? Salt. Salt? You it looks like salt. Mm -hmm. well, would you want to put this on your steak? I don't think so. You know, this looks like this looks like crystal mess, so. Went from misdemeanor to felony, just like that. We got a report of two white males that may have vandalized a fence down the road here. Up there you go. And uh, possibly intoxicated. One twelve. Yeah, they're toxic. What's going on, guys? Not much. Just Not much. Got into a little argument with our girls and just heading back to the east side. OK, where are you coming from? We're coming Southside. from the bowling alley over there off the floor. Oh, yeah. You guys have ID on you or anything? No. Yes, sir. You go ahead and put your hands in here real quick. I'm just going to check. Do you have anything on you I need yeah, to know about? Yeah, just come drop those. Put your hands on top of your head for me. Yeah, I, you know, I need to know about. Hey, don't pull, don't pull my hair. <laughs> don't pull your hair. Hey, there's my feet. ID right there. Bro. Feet. Put your hands on top of your head for me. Okay, anything I need to know about? No, nothing, dog. Okay. okay. What's this? Just lighter? A lighter. Okay, a lighter. all right. Just calm down. Yeah, we're just trying to walk back to okay. the inside. Okay. Why is somebody calling saying that you guys are messing with somebody's fence? Who's calling saying we're messing with Just fence? chill out, man. Mm -hmm. Chill out and right keep now. your hands on your head. You keep your hands on top of your head. Keep your hands on your head or I'm going to put you on the ground. Okay. Chill, brother. Put your hands. <laughs> you stay right where you're at. 136 fighting with one. I got my cuffs. And then my car is available. Let's that home, boy. Fighting with one. It's all good, player. Okay. You got my shoes on, dog. Two in custody. You can go ahead and resume. I'm, I'm losing speed, guys. It's all cool. Just chill. You, you need right. to stay on your stomach. I'm losing it one on one. I can't see how. Hey, man. Break my arm, hey, break my arm, break my arm. Hey, don't shout. I'm, I'm losing these hands, Cubs. 18 years old. Oh, boy. What happened, buddy? 36. It's all straight, homie. Someone called in on us and tried to snitch and saying we're fixing up someone's fence. The carpenter. Officer. Yep. I've had a little bit of drink I know you guys have had a little bit to drink tonight, so. And, uh, did you guys do anything with the fence back there? We didn't touch no fence, bro. OK. Hey, well, you're going to go to jail? OK. I'm going to jail? Yep. yep. Okay. I'm going to jail. That's Man, my homie go. goes to jail, I go to you jail. You going to jail with me, That's bro. a simple you fact. Me, I, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, but this is my best friend for life, and I'll go to jail with him. I guarantee I'll wreck you one-on-one at the hands. Yeah, chance. Be quiet. No, just stay cool. Brush your legs. There you go. Good job. Hey, Sean. You listen. Sean. Listen. What? Listen to me. Okay? What? You said you wanted a breath test. Yeah, go ahead. Give okay. me a breath test. OK, I'm not going to give you a breath test. I'm going to give you a breath test. Breath test. Okay. I need you to blow breath into this. Breath test. Okay. I'll blow in it. Give me it. Okay. Give me it. Come on. Go ahead. OK, that's good enough. All right, Sean, I want you to realize what's going on here, OK? What, what's going okay. on? You're going what's to jail for on? public intoxication. OK, I'm going to jail. You're going to jail. jail for interference. I'm drunk. I drink a bottle of I drink four I drink two 
Those I drink a lot. So what do you think of that one? I really don't care. I just want to let you know what's going on. Fight me one on one. I need you. It's one on one right now, bitch. I hope you guys all die in a car wreck. Two, three. All right, your case number is going to be 22,000. Yep, from the side. You need to head first. You got him. Clear. That's just been a bad night, man. I'm sorry that you guys had an encounter with us, but... Well, yeah. It happens. Your friend's getting public intoxication and interference with official acts. Oh, OK, man. do you understand why you got that? Do you understand why you didn't get that? Yes, sir. OK. Because he tried to fight us and you didn't. You were being cooperative, and I appreciate that. I'm, I'm sorry, man. If I'd have been able to talk to him, man. You're going to have a long trip over to county, so you're going to be able to talk to him through that glass. Yes, sir. What you need to do is you need to tell him to be cool when he gets to the jail, because they don't mess around there. Well, and the they're going to strap him to a chair, and it's he's going to be gonna be, he's gonna be there for a long time. If, if I can have a side-to-side -side talk. Well, like I said, you're going to be able to talk to him right through, through, through that glass. Yes, sir. OK, you understand? I understand you the fullest. OK. We'll see a judge in the morning. OK? All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hey, hey, we got an overnighter, dog. Yeah. We got an overnighter, dog. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Sean, Sean. Sean, they're, Sean, they're going to put you in shackles, dog. They think you're crazy. Just just be chill like me, dog. All he had to do was, was cooperate, but now he couldn't do it. Right now, en route to back up another officer. It looks like he went out on a white male doll standing in the street, causing a disturbance. And it was upgraded to, it looks like a fight. And one officer has arrived, and he's out on two subjects, a white male and a black male. How you doing? You OK? Do you need medical? He had no, no, I'm great. He okay. Had nothing to do with it. He had we nothing to do. Home, we worked together. Okay. I'd pick him up and take him home in the morning. Okay. This is another year with traffic. You were covered. I swung by here in the afternoon. He had nothing to do with it. Well, tell me what happened. Nothing really. Well, you're you're bleeding from the face there, so something happened. In the eye and then okay. I walked outside. And where'd that happen at? In here. OK, right. do you know the person? No. no. OK, why did they hit you tonight? He sucked me in the eye, and then. OK, I understand that he hit you, but what I want to know is why did he hit you? What was the argument about? Not really sure. I tried to defend myself, and then they pushed me out of the ball. All right. But Junior had nothing to do with it. OK, what does the guy look like that hit you? He had, like, a kin play haircut. Well, is he white, black, Hispanic? He's black. He had, like, a. Okay. I was sitting at the bar. Okay. And he propositioned me and my girlfriend. In what way? Well. Tell me his exact words. If you, the best that you can remember. Uh, well, he just said, here's, the, here's his check, and he had his check stub and everything. Like, it's all connected. And right. he's like, so are you working? And all right, like that. back up a little. No, 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 not just, good. That's what he did. Yeah. All right. And so I was like, buddy, we're not hookers, you know? All and right. so he went and did his thing, and then the bartender came over and said, no, it's Right. I don't talk to him. So my girl came back. I said, you know, don't talk to that guy. He's homeless. Like I see him like all the time. Da, da, da. So then my girl, so I'm sitting, and he came up behind me and went, wham. Like, no, I'm, right. I'm just going to show you. I'm right. not going to And she was like, what? And I moved out of the way, and he took his beer and doused me. That's why my hair and everything is so And then he So he slams out. the beer. The beer comes out no, no, all over no. you? He took his beer, threw it okay. on me. All right. And then he went to take the beer to hit me. The beer goes flying like he was hitting everybody. So they physically removed him? Yes. He went after that man numerous months of times. This man was just trying to save us. OK. He went psychotic. OK. Can you come here for a minute? Can you just tell me what happened, what your side of this is? Yeah, these two girls came in, and then for some reason, he just started in on her, tossed a bear at her, spin her. His friend was trying to get him out, but as far as I'm concerned, he wasn't trying too hard. Right. He and the bartender tried to get him out. It wasn't and, working? And no, and then I was standing behind him, and then for some reason, he just lunged at me and just kept coming back. After okay. He kept calling me kid and play Biz Marky. Yeah. And he, he kept coming back. I pushed him off. And he came back in well and again. Okay. And How did he get the bloody eye? Did you hit him? Uh, no, actually, um, he got that from when they were over there playing pool. Because um, I was sitting there next to another guy in the bar, and I said, Look at this. They're going to need new pool tables because his buddy threw him on the table. 
for some reason they just went out. Right. I don't know what what happened there, but. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Sam, listen very clearly. Don't interrupt. No. Suck me in the eye. Hey, you don't care. Uh, Are cool. you gonna listen to me? Because I got to tell you some things. I grew up in this place, dude. Are you done? Are you gonna listen to me? No, not really. Well, I'm gonna, gonna talk gonna to you. Anyway. Home, listen, you listen, listen. You're making this much worse than it is. Do you want to leave tonight? You tell me. I appreciate your job. You tell me what my options are. Here. Here's your options. Because you've been here's your options. Strapped down for two hours. No, it's been about 22 minutes. And things right. have I not been cool to you? I thought we were good. You asked the bartender if I'm a disturbance in this place. He said you are. He just trespassed you off this property. You can never come here as long as you're alive or this business is here. Scott did. Correct. You can never come back. You're going to get arrested if so you do. The women say that. you're soliciting them. You're offering money for sex. You can't be doing that either. Dude, I had my two bosses. Your luck here is that no one wants to prosecute your press charges, so you're going to walk out of here tonight. My luck here is that. Yes, your luck is that. And that's what you're saying. Yes. I know I will never come back here again. Beautiful. Control 1, Baker 35, can you sign me that? Right now we're going on a domestic violence call in which the male half was choking the female. 1, Baker 1, 1, Charlie. Control 1, Baker 35, if there's a clear unit, could you uh, send them my way? Apparently the male half just showed up. Okay, Captain, I want Charlie stand by Come here. Hey, come here. Get in front of the car. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Don't play games with me. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Put your hands behind your back. And try to resist, man. You understand? The reason you're in handcuffs is because I don't know what's going on, all right? I'm not saying you're under arrest right now. I'm just explaining to you why you're in handcuffs, what? okay? I'll come get your side of the story. Just relax, OK? What are you doing? Ma'am, relax. What do you mean, ma'am, relax? You can have a seat no on the curb way. right here. Who else is in here? Ridiculous. What's going on? What are you guys arguing? What's going on? What's going on? Obviously, you've had a little bit to drink tonight. I ain't had to drink tonight. OK. Where Who are security. you? Security. I'm the police. That's my room. Check it out. OK. You want some? Check it out. All right, listen, ma'am. Don't, don't, no, don't put you your hands on me. listen. Don't put your hands on me, OK? I ain't let put my hands something. on you, Ma'am, let me ask you something. Put your hands on my man. Hey. What up? Hey, settle down. What up? I'm, I'm here to help you, all right? No, you ain't here to help. I'm, were you guys fighting? Did he oh, hit you? we were fighting. I love him. You need to leave him alone, yo. I love him. Yeah, have, go on there. Is anybody else in here? Go ahead. Ain't is, nobody in there. Hey, where were they arguing at? The were they arguing in the apartment or were they arguing? Get in the apartment. We don't weren't get in my face, man. Period. Don't get in, don't get in my face, please. Hey, man, Rob, check your ass you in there. Out. You keep making more noise. Dude. I'll take you to jail. I love him. Okay, I'm good. I'm glad. Love is strong. Yeah. But you know what? Oh, you Robin, no. No, Robin. Put your hands behind your back. How would you like to go to jail, ma'am? Take me. Okay, I will. Good. When you wake up in the morning and look at where you're at in jail, Good. you'll think about it. Because, you know, I didn't do nothing. I love him. So, let me ask you something. Was the screaming coming from the apartment? Oh, she was already outside the door. OK. Holding on to her neck. OK, and where was he? He was coming out, oh, out of the apartment. OK. When I, as, I, as I come running down here, the screams were so loud that other please. people heard it. So why don't you tell me the whole story? Come back to the room, and we'll she started to drink him. She's banging her head. You too! Young lady. So what, bitch? You keep it up. So what? I'm going to jail anyway, okay. so what? You, bitch! Put your feet in the car. I you love you, Chris. Chris, I love you. She loves you, Chris. Hey, Todd, he's got a Nobel warrant for drugs, too, so. Stop doing that. Quit smacking your head. You! Check it out! Bitch! Chris! Are you done hurting yourself? That's my man right there. I love him. Could you talk yeah. to your woman real quick and have her calm down? Robin. I love Robin. you Robin. so much. Robin. I told you about this from the jump. 
<laughs> Before you even put your lips on that, I told you. <laughs> Calm down. I know. Calm down. It's not gonna solve nothing with you banging your head up against the window. Are you gonna calm down now? Hey. Now, I don't want to press no charges against her. I love this well, girl. You know what? You don't have a say. I don't have a say. My partner doesn't have a say. It's mandated by the state. It's not us making the arrest. It's the state of Nevada making this arrest. Right now, we're responding to assist officers. Um, they're uh, on a domestic dispute with a suspect who had numerous warrants for his arrest and is uh, wanted for felony domestic violence. Is running from the cops now. They say they got him on a roof at the residence, so we're going to go see if we can assist. Somewhere in here. Right there. He's a supervisor. Right, I'm look, telling you right, right now, you're only acerbating the situation. All right, look. You're gonna make things a lot worse for yourself. I'm already getting, I'm already arrested. No, you're not. Nick. You're stupider than I am. You can make this all go away a lot easier if you just come on down. Really? We're so not gonna go away. Chill. We're not gonna go away, you understand? So maybe, girlfriend? honestly, maybe I should jump. Nick, maybe please. swan dive. Nick, don't do that. Don't do that. Please. No, don't do that. because that bitch set me up. He's wanted for uh, felony domestic violence and uh, some warrants. He's saying he's not going to be coming down. He wants us to go up there and fight him so he can try to take one of us out. Where's the female at? Female uh, got transported to the uh, hospital. She had a big old lump on the top of her head. All right. Send it away. So I'm going to go over there, and you guys are going to have a big fight. Uh, for, on the far west side. Your mother, Gloria, is coming in a red car. And she'll be here momentarily. I want my mom. He's agitated, he's been drinking, and he wanted his girlfriend arrested, so we um, kind of are, did what he asked. He wanted to arrest her for domestic, so we arrested her, did what he wanted, but now he's not willing to come down, so uh, we're going to take the next step and uh, hopefully force him uh, uh, to voluntarily give up and uh, not harm himself. Hey, Uncle Bill's going to be with us the whole way, okay? Yeah, your uncle can go with you. No, 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 you will, no, Uncle Bill. No, you don't have to lay down. When you get down, it's going to put you in handcuffs. Good, you're doing the right thing, man. Keep coming. Good job, man. All right, hey, put your hands behind your back. Spread your legs for me. Relax, relax. All right, it's going to be all right, man. You did the right thing. Let me get you a cup of water right here. We'll sit down and talk about this. Ma'am, who are you doing all this? I'm the mom. I'm oh, the you're the mom? Yeah, the What's going got on? It. I, you know what? Six months ago, she went back to live with her mom, and somehow she ended back up here again. Okay. So when I got a call from him, he said Kelly had done some real ugly stuff. She had set him up. That He took the, it's not his son, it's her son, okay. took him swimming. She went to one of the stores, either Target or Walmart or both, and sold over $500 for clothes and bought it back. When or who hit her, I don't know because I wasn't here. Okay. What he's afraid of with the police is because he's got some petty warrants. 
and he didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. He's saying that she set him up because she know of those warrants and she knew he was going to go to jail. So I've seen her do this before, too. Looks like he's going to be transported to uh, the Rialto Police Station for further uh, investigation. And he's going to uh, probably eventually be taken to local hospital for a mental health evaluation.